Hey guys, Natalia Schneimler here. I help boy moms have a better relationship with their sons and themselves by teaching them the tools how to manage their mind so that when anything comes up in life, they know exactly how to take care of themselves and their kids. Hey guys, how are you? I was playing tennis the other day and I I had a moment that made me think about all of you guys and I had to share I have to share this story so that you guys all can benefit from it as well as myself. So I was playing tennis and I tr- missed a shot into the net. I was up at the net and I was supposed to get you know do a winning shot and I missed it I shot it into the net. And the first thing that I said to myself about myself was useless, useless. I felt bad because I was part of the team. I fell let down my partner and I just keep getting them into the net and I just said that. And as soon as I said that, I put breaks on it. I put a pause. I said, you know, that's so not nice for me to say that about myself because you know what? I'm doing my best. And that is the moment I want us to really magnify all of us to replicate, to, to do more in our lives. Because why? Because we're going to say nasty things, not nice things about ourselves, but how we answer them is very, very important. Are we going to agree with them? So often, if we agree with them, we just feel so bad about ourselves. We keep pushing ourselves down. We keep criticizing. I mean, that that is feels terrible. And on top of that, we then can shame ourselves. And if we do this to ourselves, guess what we're going to do to other people? Same thing, right? So if we learn to see it, and we do that enough times, then we're actually going to take a pause when we do that and kind of cancel it. We can override it with an answering thought. We can, you know, answer it back, defend ourselves, defend the other person. Same thing with your kids or your husband or whoever. If they're not doing something right or not doing something that you would like them to or not doing it perfectly, you know, whatever it is, even if you go to the place of criticizing them, being angry at them, taking that pause and questioning what you just thought about them, said about them, is is the goal. It's not the goal to never have criticizing thoughts because you have a human brain and it will happen always for the rest of your life. But it is a goal to answer them and to take it easy on yourself and on the people. They are doing their best. It's sometimes it's hard to believe, but they are. If they could do better, they would do better. The same thing for you. If you could do better, you would do better. At that moment, you could not do better. At that moment, I could not shoot, could not shoot the ball, the ball better. And I had to take it easy on myself because there's no upside in beating myself up. I'm there to have fun. I'm there to exercise. I'm there to play a game. Beating myself up will only make me feel bad, will only make me tense up and play worse. So, and so today's episode is super short, super to the point, and another, just another example of how we should practice answering our thoughts, questioning our thoughts. And and answering them in a way that we want to answer, you know? So be be willing to be a little bit wrong about other people, and maybe they're doing their best. I know it's hard to believe. Sometimes I look at my kids and I think, what were you thinking? But they they are just kids, right? They're they're thinking other things. They're not worried about whatever it is that I want them to worry about. The same thing with the husband. If he is doing something or saying something that catches you off guard or you're angry about, instead of judging him, criticizing him, we can we can we can start off like that, but then we can pause and say, why could he be doing that? And this actually happened last night. Oh my gosh, he's going to kill me for sharing it. But he was just a bit off at dinner and sure enough, he's getting sick. So after I I found out that he's getting sick, it all made sense. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Of course, he was acting the way he was acting because he's not feeling well. But at first, I was, we were just so busy with dinner and everything that I didn't question it. But but I later, I thought, oh, okay, so having that pause and not reacting to your first judgment 
It's going to save you so many fights. And it's going to save you so many moments where you are harsh on yourself. Okay, I hope I sold you on this one. If you are having trouble questioning your thoughts or even seeing your thoughts, this is what I'm here for. Coaching is the missing piece from the podcast that I simply cannot give you over the podcast because I don't have access to your head, to your thoughts, to your feelings. And therefore, I can't really help you with what you're struggling with. Of course, the podcast is great. It gives you lots of different ideas and things to try. And I love that for it. Uh, But if you want that next level of customized help for yourself, please go to my website, www.coachingnatalia.com. Go to sign up for a free mini session and I'll see you on video. I'll see you on Zoom and we'll talk and you tell me all the things that are bothering you, okay? Love you all so much. Have a great week. Bye.